AKs and ARs. And the only thing, literally the only thing I know is that they're both rifles and they're used to assault and murder people. Am I correct? Uh, not all the time, <laughs> not all the time. Okay, today we're back at Midwest Shooting. We're gonna shoot more guns. So here we are back at the range. I think I know who we're shooting with. We're doing long rifles with you today, aren't we? Yes, we are. What's up? We got an AK and an AR? AK AR-15 today. Let's get to it. All right. Aiden's our salesperson today who's gonna walk me through everything I need to know about AKs and ARs. And the only thing, literally the only thing I know is that they're both rifles and they're used to assault and murder people. Am I correct? Uh, not all the time, not all the time. <laughs> I didn't think I was, but I wanted to know what your answer was. <laughs> so I, I guess let's start with the one that is talked about on the news all the time, which is the AR, which people call an assault rifle because that's what they think it means. It, what does it mean? AR does not stand for assault rifle. AR actually stands for Armalite Rifle, who is the original designer of the rifle, uh, Armalite Company. Who obviously intended it as an assault rifle, or they wouldn't have named it that, right? Not, not really, no. Um, it was just designed for the uh, US military at the time. Right. So, okay, so it, it's a military grade weapon. Now every, it's a platform that is probably one of the best sellers, right? Yes, one of the best sellers. Why? Uh, it's just so modular. A lot of people really like them. The ammo's uh, used to be decently costing. Um, still all right nowadays, a little high. Uh, but there's a lot of parts out for them. There's a lot of people that can build them themselves. Uh, they're just accurate. They can reach out pretty far distance, so. All right, so why don't you pretend you're my sales guy and I'm interested in buying an, an AR. Let's, let's demo this gun and show me what I need to know about it. Sure thing. Well, first off, we'll pick it up. Check it first, make sure it's empty. So, like I said before, these are very modular weapons. You can uh, swap out all the parts on these for anything else that you want, get a different grip on it. You can get a different kind of uh, barrel guard for it, uh, different front sights. You can put scopes on it, red dot. You can swap out the stock. You can even swap out all the internals on it too and really make it your own. So can I buy just this part? You could actually, yes. You could absolutely buy just this part and build everything else around it. And is, would it all be manufactured by AR or can I buy aftermarket parts? So you can, I mean, this one here is actually manufactured by Smith & Wesson, so, but you can get all sorts of different parts. You can get many different kinds. You could have all the same part or you could have just a variety of different ones depending on what you like. So that's a great point you just made and showed how much I don't know about guns. AR is the platform, not the manufacturer. Exactly, yes. So this, we're, we're demoing a Smith & Wesson today. Yes, this one is a Smith & Wesson uh, AR-styled rifle. Okay. And what are the intended uses of this? Uh, a lot of people like them just to take out on the range. They're used also in self-defense. Um, they can be used in competition or uh, in some states they are allowed for hunting. And how, how about the rounds they use? In other words, I'm used so far to shooting handgun bullets. Are these much bigger? No, not typically. Um, the uh, round that it uses is a 223 or 556. Five, uh, they're pretty similar round. It is a small 22 caliber round with a lot of powder behind it. That's a 22 caliber? Yes, it is. Okay. So now, the AK. Now, I didn't know this either. I thought AR and AK were both just different versions of the same gun, both made in America. Not true. No, that is not true. Okay, what's the AK? So the AK was an originally uh, Soviet rifle um, that's just gotten very popular across the worldwide. Um, it's very reliable, very, uh, it's uh, very easy to use, and it's not quite as modular as the AK, uh, AR, but there are a lot of parts out there for it. Okay. So if I wanted a different stock on this, could I get one? Absolutely. Really? Yep. You could even get, they make uh, adapters that use the same buffer tube on here. So you can use an AR style stock if you prefer that. So the buffer tube is what connects it to the gun? Yes. So on the AR, that just basically holds the buffer assembly for the re uh, recoil system so that it can uh, recycle a new round in it. Okay. Um, if you were to put that on there, it wouldn't really do anything except hold the stock. 
Okay, so let's demo the uh, AK and show, show me what this weapon's all about. Sure it looks simpler for some reason. Uh, that's because it is. Uh, okay. It's a much simpler rifle than the AR. It's very simple built, uh, just what they wanted. They wanted a nice, simple rifle that soldiers could use real easy. And that's another reason why it's gained so much popularity because there's not much to it. So would you say that that because of the simplicity of this gun, it's way more dependable in battle than the AR? Depends. I would say that it's pretty dependable if it's like you're in like a real dirty or muddy area. I mean, if you drop this in sand or mud, it's gonna keep firing. This one's a little more picky. You gotta clean okay. it a little more often. Okay. So let's talk about the ammunition. Is, is it similar ammunition to the AR? No, actually it's uh, the AK uses 762 by 39, which is this one here. It is a 30 caliber round, a uh, little bit bigger diameter. So 22, 30. Let's get a close up. Show the difference between those. Okay. So the big thing between the difference between those is obviously the diameter. It's a lot bigger round. It's also uh, heavier, so it doesn't quite go as fast as the twenty, uh, the two twenty-three round. Um, so this round will go faster and a longer distance. Yes, it will. Yes. This one, beca probably because it's bigger, will be slower and not travel as far. Right. So this one probably has a good accurate distance of about three hundred yards. That one's probably going to have a good accurate distance of about seven hundred. Wow, so the AR has twice the accurate range as the AK. Yes. Okay, so bottom line on, on the AK, what's the best feature of the AK? I've got to say it's a bullet hose, so <laughs> it really just likes to pump them out. <laughs> All right, good enough. I think it's time to shoot them and see what they feel like and how they perform on the range. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. All right. Jaden's going to walk me through the safety and loading and the procedures before I actually start shooting it. So here we go. This is the AR. All right. Well, first off, always check, make sure safety's on. Okay. And then what you're going to do, you'll take it, you'll take your magazine, you'll just push it up inside here, it just goes up in straight. And then you'll take it, make sure your finger's around the release lever here, pull it all the way back, and just let it go. Okay. And then it'll be ready to fire. Then you flip your uh, safety back up to fire. And then it's all set, just aim it downrange, get ready. Got it. All right, here we go. So safety is on safe. Safety is on safe. Oh, other way. <laughs> the bullets go up, not down. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> all right. And then uh, flip it around. OK. Here we go. It's still on safe. Still unsafe, you can go ahead and charge it. All right. Ready, aim, fire. I hope I do better with this than I did with the pistols. That was, that was quite different. That had a bit of a kick. I don't think I hit the target once. Oh my God. 10 rounds, I hit the target two. All right, Jaden, after I showed you how to do it with the AR, now it's time to do it with the AK. All right. So run me through how to handle the AK on the range. All right, well, the AK is a little bit different. So first off, when you go to load it, you actually have to have the safety off. So okay. you flip it down. Then you have to rock and roll it in. So you just kind of pull it up in here, make sure that little lip gets up in there, and then it'll snap in place. Got it. And then once the magazine's in, you'll just pull crank all the way on this, let go. Flip it up. back on, safety's back on, and then when you're ready to fire, you can just flip it back down. Got it. All right. I've also learned between shots that if I steady myself, that I, I can be a little more accurate. Is that true? Yep, that is okay. true. All right, so here we go with the AK, the Romanian AK. 
So I want to take the down first. Yep. Rock and roll it in place. Okay. What can I do there? Safety. Oh, charge it. Safety back up, ready to fire. Right? Safety back up if you want it, and safety down when you're ready to fire. Oh, okay, so ready to fire. All right, here we go. The AK, 500 yards. This is a huge range here in Midwest. Let me get the sight. Two was the recoil. My finger was still on the trigger, and the recoil shot twice. That was crazy. Bigger holes. I was more deadly, but I put fewer on the target. <laughs> you only have three this time, but two pretty close. Man, I, I gotta shoot more rifles if, I, <laughs> if I'm gonna be the uh, national champion next year. This is not going well. So these are the holes made by the AR. Those in the, in the center, can you see them? Now look at the difference. Those are much bigger. That's crazy. All right, so I shot 20 shots and I got uh, eight. <laughs> eight on the target. So I'll be back shooting more rifles, I think. I don't know why I need to, except just to learn more. Because clearly I was better at shooting handguns. Are most people better at shooting handguns when they're first learning? No. I am the exception to the rule. I shot way better with the handguns. Oh well. As far as what I like better, I like the AR better. I mean, it just felt easier for me to shoot. It was more comfortable. The AK definitely didn't fit well here. I kept knocking this off and my glasses were all wrong for it. So yeah, I, got, I think I like the AR better. Thanks for watching. If you have comments, put them below. We'd love to hear your comments and uh, listen to me on Rock 108.